You might be saying, Dylan, you're looking mighty cold. It's because winter is coming. And you may be saying, what is also coming? The introduction to Clean Code. It's out, baby. Uh, so if you guys are big fans of Scrimba like I am, I just released the um, introduction to Clean Code on their platform. And um, you may know nothing, young dev, but by the end of this course, you will uh, <laughs> you'll know some Clean Code. Um, this is something I've been super passionate about for quite some time. You hear me talking about leveling up your skill set. Uh, clean code and writing proper code is really one of the best ways that you can go from a junior to mid or senior level engineer. So quite quite often you see people who repeat the same <laughs> the same year ten times, and so they're at a junior level, but with like five ten years experience. It's kind of uh, astounding to be to be quite honest. But this is a great place to get you started. So uh, what I'd like to do is go over a little bit of what's in the course. There's quite a bit. I actually there's a I'm adding stuff to it as I go. Um, so it's out, but, uh, I just sent my, um, I guess she's my producer. sounds like, I feel like big time saying I have a producer. I'm bi listen, <laughs> we made it, uh, <laughs> no, my producer, an additional video to add to it. Cause, um, I like to expand on my courses. Uh, so let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the course. I'll include a link to it so you can check it out right now. It's available. Cool. <laughs> So like any course um, on Scrimba, there's going to be plenty of challenges. Uh, we're going to talk about writing clean variables. We're going to be talking about properties, magic numbers, and eliminating them, limiting your parameters, naming and standardization, encapsulating some of our conditionals, um, good comments versus bad comments. This is something I see. So this shit drives me nuts. I'll be honest with you. Uh, um, you know, and then, uh, a final challenge as well. But, uh, I thought instead of, you know, obviously, um, you know, that's quite a bit here as we go through, there's uh 23 going on 25 lessons that talk a little bit about why this is important. Right. So let, let me go to my, this is the actual slide that I have from the course and we'll do it live for you. All right. You here we go. present. So, um, let me go ahead and take my camera off. Not that you don't want to see the eye candy, but the eye candy's here. Look at, I mean, look at this. Uh, so code like a pro that's, that's sort of my unofficial title for this course is, um, clean code. I think is one of the things that's going to make you become a professional. And, um, I think it's worth noting that, that that's what your goal should be. So what are we going to learn in this course? Well, we're going to be talking about, you know, clean code in regards to variables, functions, classes, comments, and a lot of other things, all the fundamentals. Now with writing our code, we should have three main purposes. Obviously it has to work, right? It's, you know, any code that doesn't work, isn't gonna, you know, it, it doesn't matter, right? <laughs> like if, if it's broken, it's broken, but even bad code can work. It's just harder to work with. And when you go back to make changes or updates, you no longer enjoy it. You hate your life. And there's three reasons that you, that it's difficult to work with legacy code and current code. And by legacy code, I mean like a month ago code, like there's an old joke in software engineering where, you know, when I wrote this code, only me and God understood how it worked. And then a month later, only God understood. And so part of the reason is because your code hasn't been searchable, readable, and understandable, or able is how I'd like to think of it. And we're going to fix that. So by the end of that co of this course, you're going to be able to write professional level code in terms of those three aspects. Now, who is the course for, right? It's for aspiring software engineers. There's no better time to learn how to write clean code than early on in your career. It's like, you know, you ever hear about people, they want to grab people before they have bad habits. Perfect example, junior engineers. You're trying to go from junior to mid to senior, fantastic skill to have. Senior engineers, a lot of senior engineers, brilliant, brilliant people don't write clean code. And um, there's a problem with that. Sometimes as you go and, you know, you add simplicity to your code, a lot of brilliant individuals think you're dumbing down the code and it's not the case. You want your code to be easily readable and 
there's then the category of senior engineers that really aren't senior level because they've only repeated the same year 10 times. And that's not what I want you to do. I want you to level up. Um, if you're QA, being able to write clean code means being able to write clean integration tests, clean unit tests, and you can set that up as well. And then really those just looking to better understand JavaScript. We'll be working with JavaScript in this course, and so you'll have a much better understanding of it. And then finally, you know, why, why? Like, you know, we talked about uh, making our lives easier, but 90% of your job is reading code, believe it or not. You know, even in greenfield development, you're working with code that was written either by yourself or somebody else, and you need to be able to read it to do your job well. And readability is a is one of the key f portions of writing clean code. It's a natural progression of your skill set. If you really do want to get better and you know progress your skill, writing clean code is just the natural direction. Employers value this skill; uh, they really do. Especially as you interview with developers, you know, you're it's going to be one of those um, I don't say buzzwords, but it's going to be one of those skill sets that catches people's eyes like myself um you know and the effort you know from a very practical stance this course is about an hour long but the the when you go and take that hour and you apply it you get 10x the payoff so it's a great skill to have you know i i've said in the past clean code testing and solid principles got me a forty thousand dollar raise truly it took me from junior to senior in terms of compensation because i spent you know a month learning those three things and so the payoff on this is fantastic so that's why you need to learn this stuff but that's a little bit about the course guys i hope that uh, you check it out there's a link in the description below it's you know as i go and i continue to build these courses for scrimba um you know i'm just so excited especially i'm trying to build some of the stuff that i don't think there's a lot of great content on and um clean code uh, we include a couple of resources in the in the course as well that you can check out, but it's um, it's part of their um, it's part of their um, pro membership that you can check out. But um, I I love working with these guys; they're real easy to work with. Uh, we just got done with the JavaScript myth stuff, and and uh, <laughs> which uh, a lot of people really loved, and um, I'm looking forward to building out more courses with them and actually expanding on this and a few other courses that I have with them. Um, I'm going through actually this weekend to take a look at some of my past courses to see if there's any updates. I want to keep the courses updated because, uh, you know, you guys are using them and they're, they're doing well. So check it out. Introduction to Clean Code. Can't recommend it any more than I already have. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, all that good stuff so I can see what questions you have. Maybe I'll do a video about it in the future. And take a look at some of my courses. They'll be in the description below. See you next time.